Testing. Okay, folks, welcome to Market Wrap for December the 1st. All right, the two charts I want to begin with tonight are, one, the VIX, two, the S&P 500. Why? The reason is, is that if you're a bull on this market, the VIX and the S&P 500 did something that you generally do not want to see. There was a correlation. Normally, there's an inverse correlation. Now, we know that from times past, that when you get up VIX, up S&P 500, things do not end well for stocks. Now, in recent days, we've seen down VIX and down S&P 500. And I said, in all probability, you're going to get a rally on the S&P 500. We got that rally. But today, yet again, like we saw back in February, which gave us an indicator that this market was not well. And only a few short weeks ago, we saw the same thing not once, but twice, then we got a sell-off. Here we are yet again, where optimism is through the roof, a tremendous amount of bullishness out there. The Robin Hood, tra Robin Hood traders, I should say, won't sell. They're leveraged. And man, are they going to pay a price when this all goes. Let's check out bonds. Bonds, TLT, dropped nearly 1.5%. This is a big, big move. Now, Granted, what we're looking at here is a daily chart. Uh, we are retesting the breakout point. We did not drop back down into a prior consolidation, as highlighted in the upper band and the lower band in blue. We closed at 157.50, possibly on a Stokes, possible uh, W formation, but RSI, lower highs, back down below 50 and lower lows. What am I alluding to here? I'm not ready yet. Let's take a look at the U.S. dollar. We are at lows that we haven't seen since October of 2018. We broke below and closed below the lows of March of 2020 today. Think about it. The lows of the COVID bottom have been taken out. The TLT, the bond market, is moving lower. What are yields doing? So what is my concern here? I think that we're having a crisis of confidence that's just beginning in the U.S. markets. It's manifesting itself in the currency market, the bond market. Not so much yet in the bond market. We haven't broken support levels yet. And where it's also manifesting itself is in the crypto market, folks, as well as gold. Did you see gold today? Big, big move. Think about it. Our debt shooting through the roof. We have a presidency still undecided. It's probably going to the Supreme Court. So let's be very, very aware of what's going on in the bond and currency markets. This is the globe sending us a signal. They're losing confidence. We could have all the bullish confidence in the world here in the United States. That doesn't necessarily mean the rest of the globe is of the same like mind. Let's go to the equity markets. We spoke briefly about the S&P 500. Uh, an up day, up 1%. You may be saying, well, what are you complaining about here? It's a good day. New all-time high, Bob. We faded. We faded on the day. We didn't hold gains. Volume was meh. It was okay. It was about average. Indicators, RSI still rising. Stokes look okay. I'm just not getting the warm and fuzzies here. The Dow Transports, big fade on the day. And keep in mind, RSI has broken down already. It's broken trend. Volume to the upside today, light. Stokes, lower high, lower lows. The Dow Jones, another fade. Keep an eye on these Stokes. I put these arrows up here several days ago, warning of a potential head and shoulders setup. Here we are. It's getting worse. In fact, last night I spoke about simply the fast line breaking down below the prior low or the neckline. Now we have both lines, slow and fast line. Now, the one optimistic thing I will say about the Dow Jones is that RSI uh, did hook up today. The trend is still strong there, but Stokes and RSI are diverging. Volume was good. Cues. Outperform the rest of the market today. But the one caveat 
is that volume is, is horrible. Horrible. Today's volume at new all-time highs came in lower than yesterday's volume. The small caps. Setting up here nicely. Possible setup for a breakout. Volume was good today. The banks, a little bit of a fade on the day. Surprising with yields moving up higher. Technology moved up higher. Slight fade, up over one and a quarter percent. Volume rose. We kind of predicted this was going to happen. Energy, an up day, but we are losing momentum here. We're still above the 50 mark, so no big deal yet. Volume about average. I would stay away from it. I like $36 per share on the XLE. Gold. Smash back up above 1800 We kind of warned about this one. Now, does this gap up higher mean you go all in on gold? No, not quite yet. But it certainly helps that the dollar is very, very weak at multi-year lows now. And gold is well off of its high. To positions, GDXJ, uh, we're up over 5.3% on this trade today. Volume, good. Uranium, attempted to break out, was rejected today. Stokes to look good. We'll remain long here. I, I wouldn't want to add here at resistance. Facebook broke out today, up over 3 and a third percent. RSI looking good. Stokes back, back up above 50, looking good. Volume good. We'll remain long. Rocket Mortgage, can't get a break. New, new daily high. We had a bullish reversal bar yesterday. We should have been surging today with the rest of the market. Wasn't to be. We'll remain long, not adding more. U.S. Steel, of which we are short. Big topping action here. It doesn't mean it's dead yet. We did go adding more to the short side. Volume was good today. But keep in mind that when you drill down, let's go with a five-minute chart. Right at the close, you saw a big sell order come in. So we closed well off the highs of the day. So much of that topping action and volume was obvious sellers they were selling strength and keep in mind that u.s steel hit multi-year resistance so we'll remain short for now gold money xaumf broke out today along with gold i think this is one that we can entertain adding more to it's held up really well in the face of weak gold prices of late i'm very impressed cow main foods daily chart and up day we close off the highs of the day a bit I think we're going to break out here. Look at RSI rising above 50. Volume light, though. Stokes now hooking back up. We're not going to add more here. Let's wait for the resolution to these Stokes. And the resolution will look like a close above the 50 mark, both fast and slow line. Emerging markets. Nice day today. We're up 5.5%. We'll remain long, especially with the dollar breaking down. Brazil. Up over 9.5% today on the BRZU and now back above 100 for the first time since July. And I think we're going up higher. And that is it for tonight, folks. I will catch you tomorrow morning. Be well.